getting lazy vibes today. Like, I'm just so lazy. And it's okay to be lazy. Yeah, she was really surprised. You gotta have that respect for yourself. Hey guys, so I just finished Thanksgiving dinner and I just wanted to come on here before I get ready for the night and say happy Thanksgiving to you guys and I'm, I'm so thankful for all of you guys who are subscribed and watch my videos like it literally means the world to me i couldn't thank you enough so if you're watching this right now thank you so much for watching me engaging with my content it means the literal world to me i wish i can give you guys all hugs because you guys honestly mean so much to me and it doesn't feel like i'm talking to a camera anymore it feels like i'm talking to you guys which is such a great feeling knowing that there's like people behind this camera that care so i know canadian thanksgiving is so much earlier than american thanksgiving if you guys are like confused why i'm having thanksgiving it's because our thanksgiving is like i think it's like a month earlier than american thanksgiving which is so weird but i guess that's just the way it works yeah i'm just gonna go to bed see you guys when i pick up the camera next hi guys happy saturday happy lazy saturday it's 12 50 right now and me and joel were watching you the third season in the morning and now i was just craving pillsbury doughboys okay i just had this impulse because i was gonna go make myself breakfast and i was like mm, maybe if you like toast it's whatever like so i went to my bread drawer and we had like no bread left like so i'm like ugh, like what am i gonna have and then in my head i'm like holy shit like i'm craving pillsbury doughboy biscuits and i'm like you know it's a saturday i had a hard week of work i just need a lazy rest day to recuperate myself so i'm gonna i'm at the grocery store right now and i'm gonna pick up some pillsbury doughboys madison wanted me to get a croissant um the biscuits and the cinnamon buns so that's what i'm doing because i just want to be lazy today okay it's a lazy saturday i love that for myself i just i'm just feeling the lazy vibes today like i'm just so lazy and it's okay to be lazy okay i'm gonna go in because someone sat me Hey guys, what is up? So it's currently the morning right now and it's my older sister Brittany's birthday. So me and Madison wanted to surprise her. So originally we just wanted to go to her work and decorate her car, but then it's raining today. So like that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is I just went to the bakery and I got her some treats. She loves like peanut butter and cookies. So I got her a big ass peanut butter cookie. I got her a blondie and I got her a oatmeal peanut butter bar and I got her a little pink candle with it. So it's so cute cute here actually i'm just going to open this i mean who cares i don't think she'll care kind of just ruined the box but whatever oh my god it smells so good so this is what i got this is the peanut butter bar that's the peanut butter cookie and then no sorry this is the blondie that's the peanut butter bar that's the cookie and then this is a little candle so cute madison right now is actually picking her up a drink like a starbucks drink and then flowers and we're gonna get her balloon so yeah i can't wait to surprise her I was just about to call Brittany, but I meant to call Madison. Customer you are calling is unavailable at the she never answers her phone at the worst times. Anyways, I'm just gonna go meet her now, I guess, and then we'll figure it out from there, but let's go. Okay, so we just went to Brittany's work. Yeah, she was really surprised. So happy birthday, Brittany. I love you. Um, enjoy your last years of your 20s because she's 28, so almost 30. <laughs> 30 is like a whole new chapter of your life. Like 20 to 30, I feel like that's like a big difference. You know what I mean? 30 is like you got your shit together. Like you're old. Like not you're not old at all, but like you're just like older than 20 if that even makes sense anyways so i'm stopped at walmart right now because this is, sounds really extra but my laundry bin it's a pretty big laundry bin which is why my room gets so messy is because my laundry accumulates and because my bin is so big i just leave it sit for like a month before doing laundry so i want to come here just to see if they have like a smaller cute laundry bin just so that it will force me to do loads every single week so that i'm not doing all my laundry 
at the end of the month you know so i'm gonna see i have like a vision in mind i want to just get like a round laundry bin that's like fabric and just have it on my floor cute because my mine is just like too big and i broke the top of it and it's just like not really working with me anymore i know it sounds extra but like it's just something that i want right now so i'm just gonna see if they have one for a good price and if if they do then i'm gonna get that we also need dry shampoo because madison literally snorts it and yeah because i was kind of already in the area so i was like might as well stop um on the way home madison got me a starbucks so cheers to that pumpkin spice latte i actually haven't gone to starbucks in a while okay so i think that's why my room gets messy at least that's what i blame it on so yeah when i get home i'm gonna clean my room hopefully have a new laundry bin to put inside of it i really wish we had target here like it kind of makes me sad that we don't fun fact though we used to have target but they went bankrupt in canada um so that only lasted like this walmart that i'm at literally used to be a target which is funny so anyways let's go get myself a laundry basket i'm not even sure if they're gonna have one though so also can we talk about like how halloween is like literally this week and christmas is literally around the corner like what why does time literally go by so fast like i can't even okay so here are their options i don't really like anything like i was just hoping for like a kind of plain white basket like this um so i don't really want to buy something that i really don't like i'm not just gonna buy it because i want to buy it so yeah not gonna get anything Okay, I didn't leave with a laundry basket, but I left with other things. They had the Fruit of the Loom sweatsuits there, and those are really cheap. It's like $10 per piece. I don't have the navy color, so I was like, you know what? They had my size, so I had to get it. But it's 20 bucks for the whole set suit. sweatsuit, so I don't really give a shit. And I got one for Madison, too. So I'll try it on for you guys when I get home and show you guys. But they literally had Christmas shit up. Like, they had Christmas trees. They had the Christmas pajamas. I'm like, it's not even Halloween yet. Which I'm, like, not, not mad about. Like, I literally love Christmas, but, like... I like celebrating Halloween first, you know what I mean? So, I was a little shocked to see that, but... Anyways, it's literally pouring rain right now. There's the last glimpse of fall. As you can see, like, the trees are already starting to, like, de uh, volatize. Like, they're falling. It's coming winter. There's still a little pretty patch of orange there, which I really appreciate. Okay, so I'm going to quickly give you guys a Walmart haul on what I got. Um, so, I kind of already explained this before. This is a Fruit of the Loom sweat set. It got it in navy, like I said. I got the crew neck in medium. This is literally like $9 and something cents, so it's so cheap. And you guys know I'm literally like obsessed with sweatsuits. And Walmart only has these Fruit of the Loom sweatpants like occasionally because they sell out so fast. So I guess I got there like the day they came out or the day after because they usually like go so fast. So I'll try it on in a sec. And then the other thing that I got is just a pack of socks because I just feel like I'm always losing my socks. Like I'll start the week off with like a bunch and then the next time I do laundry I'll have like two pairs. And I'm like where do they all go? They always get like I feel like white socks get so disgusting. Like they get like gray at the bottom and they're like permanently stained. So it's like it's nice to have like fresh sets of socks this one was ten dollars if you guys have walmart near you these socks are actually fire it's ten dollars for a pack of oh shit there's 10 pairs in here so that's actually really good it's only a dollar per pair and the quality is actually pretty impressive for walmart so yeah if you guys have walmart and are looking for a good pack of socks these are actually pretty good and the length is good and everything i didn't know there were 10 that's actually really clutch okay so here is the sweatsuit it's just like plain navy honestly this is probably going to be something that i wear more like around the house when I'm working or just like, you know, like after I change out of my pajamas in the morning and put on a sweatsuit, which makes me feel more productive. I'm going to be one of my go-tos just because it's like not the best qualities, but it's definitely going to just be like one of those things that is going to be more for around the house, but still making me feel really cute. Because yeah, since it's not that great of quality, it's not that warm either. So definitely going to be a more in the house type of vibe, but still really cute for the price, especially. So me and Madison are currently at the grocery store. We're about to go in to get some salmon, some rice, some mayo, stuff to make the famous TikTok um, rice salmon bowl, I think it's called. So we haven't tried it yet. It's pretty much like, if you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much like rice salmon and avocado and then seaweed so it's basically a sushi roll but in a bowl form i think that's probably what it's gonna end up tasting like is sushi and then the sauce is like some mayo or something madison's been wanting to make it so we're gonna make it tonight because she got called off work she's not working anymore that's gonna be a vibe hopefully it's good some people say that it's overrated and that it's not good but some people like love it i think it's gonna taste good it just like depends how you cook the salmon because the girl that actually like made it emily maruko or whatever her name is like she didn't really like flavor the salmon but like we're doing it tiny bit different. Your Tasha tried it and she was like, oh, this is so overhyped. Okay, well. Anyways, we love you, Natasha, and hopefully we like it better than you liked it, so. Okay, so here's the lineup. 
we got this naked mayo um, that she used in the video. So we wanted to get the exact same one because it's some sort of special one, I think. Then we got some teriyaki sauce, some sriracha, some soy sauce, and she's mixing that up. It's a glaze. It's a glaze, everybody. Tastes like sushi. You guys literally won't believe what I just did. Actually, yeah, you will. So I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna clean my room and then I'm gonna go have a hot drink, have a little dessert or whatever, and then I'm gonna um, sit down, relax with all that, and just like chill out for the night. And then after I just finished cleaning, I'm like, oh, I better go like get ready for bed so that I'm just like done, right? And I think like. I forgot that I wanted to have the hot drink like I wasn't thinking about it and then I go and brush my teeth and now I can't like I don't want to have like a drink after brushing my teeth because my teeth feel so clean and ready for sleep so I mean it's fine I don't know why I did that I literally like finished brushing my teeth and I just like stood there and I'm like what did I just do like I didn't, I didn't even like wasn't thinking about it um Anyways, I'm just going to chill out right now. I'm going to watch some Netflix, maybe some YouTube. But yeah, I lit a candle, setting the mood. It's a vibe tonight. I also th I'm thinking of getting AirPods um, because my wired headphones that go into my laptop, these go into my phone, like they're the phone ones. Um, they broke. And then I bought another pair and then those broke. So it's like, is this my sign to get AirPods? But then my mom like scares me. She's like, oh no, there's like so much like really bad radiation in those. So, like, that scares me, but I don't know. I don't give a shit at the same time, so let me know. Should I get AirPods? Vote down below. Anyways, I'm just going to chill out right now. Okay, so I just wanted to turn on the camera right now, and I realized that I didn't finish this vlog, and I kind of just saw this video that, like, gave me inspiration to talk to you guys. I'm currently burning a candle right now that smells like Fruit Loops, and I'm not even kidding you when I say it literally smells like Fruit Loops in my room and it's the best smell ever. Anyway, so I saw this video and it basically was like, if your boss tells you to do something, you're going to do it. If your boss tells you to show up at work at 8 a.m., you're going to do it because it's a thing of respect. Like you respect them and you're going to do what they say. But what about yourself? What about when you tell yourself you're going to start working out? when you tell yourself that you're gonna start eating healthy, when you tell yourself you're gonna start that business, where's that respect for yourself if you don't end up doing it? Showing up for your boss and listening to whatever he says, you do that because you respect him and you wanna keep your job. So you gotta have that respect for yourself in order to follow through with things. That's what the video was saying and I'm like, wow, like that is so true. We're so respectful towards other people, but then when it comes to ourselves, we're just like, eh, whatever it's like we should listen to ourselves you know what i mean like we should follow through with what we tell ourselves or else it's disrespectful to ourselves like we're we should be the most important person that we that we're listening to here you know what i mean like why would we let ourselves down it's not okay to let others down it's not okay to let your friend your boss it's not okay to let other people in your life down why is it okay to let yourself down and like i've never really thought about it like that before but it's so true like it's a level of respect have that respect for yourself it's like literally respect thing and i just realized that because of the video so i just wanted to sh quickly share that with you guys um because i thought that that was a really important like message that i've never heard before and it's so true start respecting yourself ladies and gentlemen i encourage you guys to reflect on that as well it just like literally when i saw it i was like like my jaw kind of dropped and i'm like that is so true but yeah so reflect on that do you guys just do you respect yourself do you follow through with what you want to do like stop letting yourself down like it's not don't normalize that you can't let any everybody else down then don't let yourself down you should be taking care of yourself first on that list like you should put yourself first so yeah i just wanted to end that video off here i love sharing these type of realizations anyways i'm gonna show you guys a candle that i'm burning right now so this is it i'm not even sure the brand but my aunt got this oh it's called mala the brand 
and I'm not even kidding you you guys this smells like Fruit Loops like if you think I'm joking I'm like it's the best smelling thing ever and then I also got this one that's called Silk and this one smells so good these candles are made with like um really good ingredients so it's not like toxic scents you know what i mean if i can find their website if they do have a website i'll link them down below honestly this candle right here is from bath and body works and it probably has so many like toxic like chemicals in it to make it smell good it just makes me feel at ease that these ones are like non-toxic and like good ingredients so and they smell so freaking good okay i'm gonna end off this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much 